very pleased that on an underlying basis we, we saw actually a, a good profitability and, and uh, we saw also good momentum uh, with clients. Uh, we uh, had uh, 22 billion of inflows uh, in uh, net new assets and, uh, and also uh, so very good inflows in deposits across both wealth management and the PNC. Uh, we have managed down exposure in Encore and, and Legacy. We also made a further, um, 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 a further improvements in our targets to deliver uh, uh, cost savings uh, by uh, uh, achieving a four billion exit rate in cost savings in 2023. So all that contributed to good results and this uh, gives us the confidence to now uh, tackle uh, the next phase of our restructuring and, and integration. The next big phase being the integration, obviously huge focus on that from a market perspective. You've set very clear targets on how do you think the integration is going to go. But I was, going, I was wondering what is the biggest risk to derailing the integration progress? Nothing has really changed. The biggest risk is delays, is time. It's, it's not necessarily if we do it, because we will do it, mm -hmm. and is uh, are we able to do it on time? Are we able to deliver uh, the mergers of uh, the operating companies uh, on time? And we, which, for example, 2024 is a pivotal year in that sense, because we are merging in the first half of the year our to uh, parent company. Uh, we are merging the US operation, we are merging the Swiss operations, and this will allow us to then start to realize the synergies. The IT migration is the second uh, major um, um, uh, potential uh, uh, problem, but we have very concrete plan. If you think about we have uh, 6,000 deliverable tasks that we need to execute, and so we are planning very carefully and also in a, uh, in a way that uh, doesn't create concentration risk in the execution. So I'm confident that we have a good plan and the risks are well managed, but if you ask me about what can go uh, wrong is, is timing in, in delivering uh, those synergies. And what could bring that derail in terms of timing? When you're, what keeps you up at night, really, when you're thinking about the merger process? I think that uh, you know, there are uh, regulatory processes that need to be uh, managed, and, uh, but we have very good uh, understanding with all major regulators on uh, uh, worldwide, and they are very cooperative and, and supportive, uh, so I don't see any issues. And as I said, uh, the IT migration is well managed, and uh, so I, I'm sleeping well.